Hey guys and welcome, my name is Dang and today we're gonna look at the new Lotro Update 16. Came out today, May 4th, <laughs> um, 2015. So Update 16 finally came out of the beta. Big things, imbuement system. I'm gonna put up a video right after this uh, explaining the imbuement system and how it is um, in life. Uh, there's also a link here. You can click add if you want to know right away and it will put you to the developer diary and they do a pretty good job. But I'll show you guys um, in game um, what you need to know. Also we have new instance clusters. If you followed my channel you know there's three instances, two three mans and one six men. Um, again there's a, a death diary if you want to read more about them. And I like them, they're pretty cool. They're also very challenging on uh, tier 2, which is uh, cool. And then we have also a new region, well, three new regions. Um, East Gondor, so we have Upper Lebanon, we have uh, Los Sarna, and then South Ithilien, which includes Osgiliath. So we're finally getting close to Mordor and to Minas Tirith, which is all uh, really cool and definitely um three good areas um very cool areas and there's a new um volume three no we had volume four book three voices of the past um basically you know following not we don't we won't follow aragon into um minister but we will get close to minister a bunch of changes uh beyonding changes Bear up now has a combat uh, cooldown when usable in combat. Makes sense. It was pretty powerful and kind of make the minister look bad. <laughs> um, some bug fixes. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Lawmaster, Bane Flayer has no max target of 5. So there's most most of these changes will have to do with the new imbuement system. They change legacies so they adapt the new things. So, you know, lower card increase to 7 up from 2. That's quite an increase. Same with uh, Rain of Thorns, so you don't have to have that on your weapons anymore. Um, same with the Guardian, challenge is now 10 up from 7. Um, some bug fixes. My favorite bug, um, Call of Greatness, was giving uh, too much morale to Guardian Warrior's Heart, which resulted in Guardian 7 like 74k hit points, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, just a bunch of changes to the Warden. You can read through those. General fixes. I don't think there's anything other special in it other than the imbuement. Uh, system, the new areas, and the new instance. Um, well, since they did the human system, they changed a lot of the legacies for weapons. So I want to look at that uh, real quick. So the Beyonding has quite so everything that had like something with you know duration things um, got changed because. They, uh, you know, the human system is designed to go on forever. So if you have a, you know, fear duration increase, it could go on forever and you know, end up with fear duration minus uh, 20 seconds, something like that. It was ridiculous. So they replaced this. So fear duration for the beyonding is gone. It's cry damage now, but it does also increase uh, fear by four, but that will stay static as I understand it. Same with call to wild duration. Uh, thick hide. <laughs> Sorry, man. Get a little sniffle here. Um, so, if you, you get a look through this, see what changed. Your pressing attack max targets get changed because it really doesn't make sense. And what they did is they just, you know, they changed it. So, every captain now has five targets. You don't need that legacy anymore. And it's bad and hard and outgoing healing now. Um,. So these are always active. Yeah, battle states and defeat response duration. 
incoming damage reduction because everybody has that duration now. Uh, doesn't look like too much change for the champion. Um, the Guardian, the area affects um, melee targets. Well, it's 5 now anyway. Same with the challenge. So you have reactive parry damage, which uh, <laughs> not that great. Uh, minstrel, I think nothing really changed for the minstrel. Well, okay, the, the ward damage is now physical mastery and tactical mastery instead of damage, so kind of deep buff here. Um, see, more changes, wow, this is a long post. <laughs> So yeah, um, go through these before you do your weapons, um, because problem is once you imbue it, you can't go back. So make sure that you have your new um, uh, s weapon set up. So force march movement speed now has been increased to thirty eight at always times, and now we have javelin of deadly force damage, which uh, <laughs> no one not that great item. Yep. Yeah, so this was just a quick video for the new update and patch notes and then keep my eye out for a video to explain the imbuement system in more detail. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.